guys. So now, granted, this movie was not phenomenal. This was not a summer of '84, you know. Oh my um, God! Just, <laughs> just always ready to go to. This, it was not a black phone. It, it wasn't one of those. It was one because you know it's one of those sleepers that I had actually. We've been suggested this, suggested this a while. I saw it on Hulu before because it's like. A little bit of a surprise, we'll say that with this. Um, it started with, um, off real good. Like I don't know, like something about like time. if you guys have, it's kind of like it reminds me of the Lovely Bones, but not as tragic because she's not she's not a little girl, right? Not not that tragic, mm-hmm. but it also kind of gives me a little angst of room, you know, because it's it's kind of sick like that, but it's not those. It, it's not it's those. Not as- Our girl, you know, she. She's on a road trip, okay? She's on mm-hmm. a road trip. Spoiler alert, you know, she's on a road trip and, you know, she's trying to get to wherever she needs to go. We don't know. I think it's to her parents. I, but actually, it's not because when her parents called, she's like, I'll be there. And yeah. So we never really know where she's going. We don't know where she's headed. And maybe, maybe that was the moving goal. Or, yeah. yeah. We just know, like, at the beginning, she's moving out. You know, and we keep mm-hmm. seeing this man, you know, kind of in her visions and stuff. And it turns out that that was her fiance that mm-hmm. ended up ending his life. Yeah. Um, but this guy ends up just tormenting her on the road. And it's, it started in such a weird way. Like, it's one of those like, oh, you're 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 on a one way driving with a car. Let me get a one way. Stop. <laughs> yeah. You're on a one way with the car. And then, you know, that obviously, since you're on a one way, they might be going slower than expected. Yeah. So they're kind of just trying to like. Like I mean, I mean, they're pulling that. If you've if you've been there, you've done it. Like no, I gotta get in front. No, I gotta get in front. But then like one of you's like risking your life to like yeah, just try to get, get in front over. of the other, and then he ends up stopping her later on. Well, not stopping her, but he ends up following her, and then he wants to apologize. But really, it's just all a ploy to like. Ladies, ladies, intuition. Like I, mm-hmm. I kept telling him throughout the entire movie. I literally was like. Why are you talking to him? Why are you, why are your doors not locked? Why like I just mm-hmm. I just kept thinking of all I was just like no because I actually had had that happen to me on the road where someone kept following me when I was traveling somewhere on a road trip so I already know what to do I let people know immediately I don't and because ladies we'd rather no matter actually it doesn't even matter ladies everyone you know when you don't feel safe and you know when something is wrong so use your intuition and literally first thing I did texted my friend they already have my location texted someone back at home where I was coming from and texted someone where I was going to. Guys, always just follow no matter what your intuition because like I said, let people know and always never, now I'm the type, I don't like no one knowing where I'm at either. I'm not on, like, I I just don't like that because it's just, like, it's just dangerous, you know? Especially mm-hmm. being a woman, it's just it's just too dangerous now. Um, I think she was just kind of one of those things where she wasn't thinking completely straight. Of course, no one's expecting this to happen to them. And, you know, you have to just use, you know, your smarts. And some of the time, and, and it sucks because in this movie, she did use her smarts in some of the times. There was one part where she drove off. But I'm sorry, when this, um, there was a time, this this killed me. This absolutely killed me. Whenever it was dark outside and she's on her cell phone with her back face toward her car, which was obviously an opportunity. That was the opportunity yeah. whenever he slashed her tire. And to me, I was just like, why do you, I understand you want to make a call, right? Why do you need to take a call right here out in the middle of nowhere with all these men around you, all these all these strangers around you? You don't need to do that and all to get her smoke on. Babe, you can smoke gotta, up in that car. Gotta hit that smoke. It's like smoke up in that car or be on, or I understand you don't want to drive right and be on the phone. Totally get it. That's safe, right? Mm-hmm. Why, are, but why are you with your back turned towards your car? Anyone could put anything in there. Yeah. It, anything could happen. So to me, it was, it just killed me. And then when that, and then, inevitably the man showed up and then he was like hey what are you trying to do da, da, da. and then yelling at her berating her and then why are you even I no she did get up and she went straight you know but didn't tell anyone on the phone who she was with hey this this man's been following me hey, I don't know this is what he looks like you know you you got to be descriptive like I said I know that sounds super paranoid but you would rather be paranoid and safe than not say anything and then be sorry later which clearly she was later. the guy him the guy himself I felt like he was more um i just feel like he was a little bit more intimidating um he did have some he i think i think what we did like about this movie is that he himself the reveal like when he first had her in the room and how he was like he had her pinned down and he was kind of like using the fact that the husband killed himself as like a psychological Mm -hmm. tactic to make her feel bad about herself or why she's in this situation that's some sinister shit okay it's not like they made him some bland villain that's like Oh, I'm after you because of 
you know, just because you're a woman or something. Yeah. No, like he had like he had he had a weird sick motive, which I'm like, if you're gonna write a villain, that's how you write them. You you make us question how sick and demented he have to be to do this to make someone feel this sort of way. And I did like that. That's how we found out what happened to the husband. Yeah. Up until that point, we didn't know. It's not it's not like this movie shoved exposition at you in the beginning. It was quite silent and to the point of. She's traveling, she's on the road, and she runs into this creepy guy, and you are, uh, and you should be 100% keen on your instincts, as you say, as a woman, but also as a person. This person seems creepy. They seem very weird. And there's a lot of moments when we were watching this movie, we were like, okay, drive away from him. Don't let him in the car. She doesn't do that. Um, don't stop on the side of the road just because he's pretending that his, that his engine is out. Don't do that. But even when she does all that stuff right, you're right. It only takes one little mistake for that enemy to kind of and take also, advantage of you. Girl, so if you're, on a, if you're on a road trip, no matter where you're at, you should not be in the same... First of all, you guys were going opposite ways at one point. Yeah. Why on earth is he at the same motel? Right, right, no matter what, I, I don't care. And then you even chose to speak to him too at that motel. Immediate, right then and there, I'm calling the cops. Hey, this man is following me. This is his... Um, Thing. you need to figure out who this is you like no it, and uh, granted they're not going to do all that they're not but it's like <laughs> you need to let you that is when you need to use your voice for your good hey i'm on this road if i should be here if i don't call you at this time i'm not there you need to let people know now granted i know she feels alone right now due to the passing of her fiance but to me it's just like no we are ignoring so many signs and then also at that point i wouldn't even be comfortable driving anymore i think like, i don't because already i know you're following me so i'm not going to get to my destination to where you know where i'm at yeah so clearly he had no no plans on what he was doing he was telling his family he was on a work trip or whatever and even had a little girl which was sick which is so sad because that's usually how most of it is they have a family at home <laughs> and then they're out and being sick so we ended up giving this a c um, let me just tell you first off the reason why this wasn't an A or above. It definitely had elements of an A story. Guys, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because, I don't know. Maybe I'm just scarred from how bad the fight scenes were in ISS. But I am tired of the ending, like the third act fight scenes being crap. This is what that was in the mud field. So first of all, it's, it's like the dude, of course, he's been hiding from his wife and his kids about what he does. which is. Chris will tell you why she ended up not giving us an A. I'll, I'll tell you why. Mainly it's because of this. Because, okay, for you to hide from him and to find out that he's lying to his wife and kid about what he does, you know, obviously he is because he's, he's a fucking serial killer. He's crazy. For you to, like, bring him out to, like, this... This was one of those you kidnapped and I would rather see you escape than fight the enemy back because the, the, the fight... But we watched her escape I, through the whole time. I know. She really, was, she really was escaping from everything. It's just that for her to finally fight him... It was a little bit of a letdown for me. That's ultimately what took it away from an A. Now, that doesn't mean this still isn't a watchable movie. I thought there were really good elements in here where she kept making smart decisions. How it got to this fight, it was stronger than the actual fight itself. Like, ah, you know, it's okay. okay so like, I'm gonna that's just me. That. That's just me. That's just I'm going to rebuttal that. The reason why I actually preferred that fight scene is because she already knows, okay, I can't outrun him. I can't escape him without his car or without someone's help. I don't know who is in on it to help him. I already got someone else killed in the process. That is true. So it's me, it's me or him at this point. And so obviously as a woman, we know probably not going to be able to take this man, right? But I will let everyone know because she did get his phone, right? I know that this is what it comes down to. So she took his phone, called his wife, right? And said, who are you? Who is, which granted, Props to the wife. I would have hung up and blocked the number and been like, mm, someone, I don't know. I'm blocking your number. But <laughs> but it is also her husband's number, so whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, she let her know this is my name. This is like you think this is – because she was like, you know what? If I end my life right here, your husband's going to jail. Or he's – like he has to leave. He did it. It was your husband's and, fault. That's yeah, pretty much what like, she Like yeah. I'm letting you know right now that if I end up dead, your husband did it to me. Like and that – and that's a confession. That's – like you can't take that back. That's a recording. Like you know that is on there. So I appreciated that because she said, hey, it, it's it's me or him. Because it's like I can't I can't keep running. I'm I'm injured severely, yeah. you know, I'm bleeding out, you know, so it's just like, I like that part of it. 
I do wish that like it would have kind of maybe ended with like a kind of time skip of resolve of you know maybe her getting better or maybe her meeting like maybe as maybe even being able to see her mom or dad or something like that you know her kind of rebuilding her life but you don't really need that either I just I probably would have preferred that just so it doesn't end with how it ended with her just in the mud um yeah I was like okay just but I just liked that like fight that. because like the fight scene wasn't even really a fight like you know she's hurt but hey she fought back and she won but imagine so if you were smoking them cigarettes. But um, what prevented it from an A in your opinion? It just wasn't that <laughs> exciting. Like I don't know. Okay, it's like, okay. It just to me. In it what wasn't... areas though? What? See, because like that. That. that but I. I feel what you're saying. That's what I. I wanted more excitement out the fight scene. That's why it's not an A. What were you looking for more excitement out of? I just needed a little bit more excitement in terms of the escape. I give props to whoever makes these because this isn't a horrible one. Yeah. It's just, I think it's very hard to make escape movies. It it's really hard is. because it's you tough. don't want to focus too much on the escape, but then you also want to get the characters' backstories, mm -hmm. but then you don't want to spend too much on that because then you forget they're escaping. I, it's hard. Like, that's, that's why I say it's a, I, it's a tough balance to I, it's, do. It's just hard to do. And I think they did a great job. That's why I was like, it's definitely not an F. Like, it passed. Like, I could sit through this again. You know, it's not that bad. Yeah, it was already passing for the majority of when we were watching the movie. I just feel like. But it's just, yeah, I just, I I just was wasn't, but, it yeah. wasn't that, it wasn't exciting enough for me. Maybe because I didn't know her as much. I feel like that's what, you, I feel like that's what you're missing is that yeah. just because the movie opens up with her just going on the road. And we don't know what her family looks like. We don't know what the husband because looks I like. Because I have enough hate for him, but I don't have enough love for you. Mm. So see, so that's maybe, why we're experts maybe. in this stuff. That's why you got. I'm, I'm, that's why you got to listen to us because we know what we're talking about. We really want. But you are a phenomenal actress. I could see the scare. I could see the the trembling, the terror. Yeah. It, was, it was there. The screams, like you know, the pain you were going through. You know, especially whenever he was talking to you about your, you know, your fiance lost. Like I said, that crying. was that's awful. That, that was awful. You know. Ugh. Um. But yeah. yeah. So it's okay. just. I just. I just wish. I. I just wish I could have been a little bit more connected to you. And I just wish, like, the escape actually took a good, the escape was actually a good amount of time. It get, it built it up well enough to where it was, like, the road. Because it wasn't, it was split in chapters. And then it also showed, you know, the escape, which was good. So I feel like it did a good amount. In terms of timeliness, this was fine. This was fine in timeliness. It was like, close. Yeah. I It's definitely a solid C plus, like I said. Like I said, it, it was just my opinion. It was just my opinion on that. But as we're reviewing this, I am getting more and more like flashback reminders of great parts of the movie. My favorite part, how we'll wrap this up, definitely when she was in the water and he was talking shit about her and her husband and he had the gun on the ground baiting her. That was good. That was good tension. You, I thought he was you, a pussy. What are you but doing? Th but because that made no us feel what, for her. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I could feel for her, but because I already know like what tactic you're trying to use. You're trying to get her out because, and plus I'm happy. That was one of the, one of the times she was real smart mm -hmm. because she knows I'm not going to be able to outrun him if I get this gun. I'm not going to be able to probably shoot it well. Who knows if he took the ammo out or not. Exactly. And then and then he was trying, like, you know, just a bait. Just, like, trying to bait her. But it's also just, like, you have nothing better to do. You have nothing better to do. Than hunt me down. It's like, and then, like, you're just lying. Like, this is what, and it's so sick. Because, guys, that's what really happens. That's, like, literally what really happens with serial killers and stuff. And it's just, like, um, my favorite part was probably when she told his wife. That, that part that's why i i can't mm. hate that part because i love the fact that you did that because she said no matter what if i die right now because honestly she could also feel like i have nothing to live for like i lost my fiance love of my life mm -hmm. you know he took his own life this man made me feel so worthless to where it's like i feel like i couldn't even help him my family and mom i don't even talk to my mom <laughs> so it's just kind of like you know like they'll be fine because you know what her parents have each other but I don't have anyone you, you're alone. Like it is a perfect example of being alone. So it's like, you know what? If I die right here, you're gonna die some way or another. You're not gonna have. Mm. You're not gonna go back to the that you family. You almost you're convinced not gonna... me to give it an A. <laughs> almost. Do you think it's worthy of pushing it up mid mid reviewing of it? Mm, I don't know. Do you think? Do you think the concept? I mean, hearing it all and being reminded of it, it was. Of, of kidnapping, escaping movies we've watched, this is one of the stronger ones we've seen. It is. But is it amazing or is it just passing? If you really had to tell yourself, was it amazing just passing? Just passing. Was it just passing of a kid in escape or was it an amazing, or was it really like, oh, that was, that was kind of nice. Because I feel like the majority, we would, yes, we didn't get to know a, a lot about her, but maybe 
we knew just enough being thrown being thrown at well, it in that can, way. The only because I was, I was about to say just passing with ease, but a part of me is maybe like it was amazing because remember how I told you um, whenever she was first running away and she jumped into that ice cold river, didn't know where she was gonna end mm-hmm. up. She said, "I'm doing it." She said, "Cause I I'm no, that go was fire and though." Right. And then she I'm got knocked out, that. and that's how she got captured was because she got knocked out from the water or something like no, that. No, the man. No, that's whenever she like messed up her foot because she was oh, running yeah. that man. Oh yeah, and then and then the man who was. And then the man who was helping her and how it took him. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to have to give this an A. No, we're going to have to give this an A. This this was pretty nice. This was pretty nice, actually. Like, just just replaying it back in my mind is like... Yeah, I wouldn't I actually wouldn't mind watching that again because it's plus, cool. It's, it's also different. like, like I said, I can't really read it. I, like I said, I don't know. I like I said, I give all the props to people that make escape movies because it's. I feel like that's probably the most challenging yeah. thing to make because you have to keep us invested. You have to keep us on the edge of our seat. So I guess you know who did the best vacancy. <laughs> Vacancy set the bar. Because, yeah, and we go keep like, y'all gonna keep hearing about vacancy. Y'all go yeah. keep hearing about P two. I swear it's you. It's just, it's just, yeah, it, yeah. I think vacancy did it because you kept us on our seat. But that was a that was a way much more intense situation because they were in a specific area. Yeah. With nothing, she was in a very big area with nothing. But maybe, so. but maybe we cracked the code of how you can really tell a good short, concise thriller. You have to sacrifice a bit of like the over exposition of a character to give you those moments of God. I just I just want this person to survive because you're making it feel like I'm in this situation. So it's like that. That's more than enough. You just picture yourself in those situations. But we ended up giving alone an A. That's our official rating now. Is yeah. an A. Had to change it. These these rarely happen, guys. But we had to kind of. I mean, it's it's hard. It's hard. there's a big difference between amazing and passing, but this See, definitely guys, is amazing. And he didn't for even it. want to review this. Hmm. Okay, but I'm glad that I was able to. But I like these moments we get to remember. But anyways, let us know what you guys think about this. 